Everybody, if you don't, you know, celebrate Christmas, then Merry Holidays to all of you. All right, we're gonna try some back. We're gonna get some abs in. We're gonna just burn off that, those holiday foods, those calories. Speaking of calories, yo, there's this snack I've been eating on. And, you know, people like wonder, like, yo, like, how do you get your calories in? Because to me, you know, I think, you know, I barely get like 3,000 calories in. No. Them damn snack things. I eat these like two packages a day in these, of these trail mix. And I just looked how many calories it's, it's in a package. So alone from two packages of this trail mix, I'm getting 1,200 calories alone. So I mean, you put two and two together, that's 2,400 calories just from this, this, aside from all the other foods that I eat throughout the day. So I'm definitely getting more than 3,000 calories a day. So I'm sorry if I lied to you guys. I didn't, I didn't like put that together because I do, the trail mix is kind of junky. It has like M&Ms and peanut butter and all this stuff in it. Um, and on top of that, I'm forcing myself to eat in the morning. No more fasting for my workouts or like none of that. No more fasting. Um, I'm gonna try to at least meal prep, you know, for two days, two or three days at a time. Um, you know, just some rice and some turkey or whatever. Just rice and something three times a day. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm really going to change things around for myself and really try to focus on structure this coming 2020. Because my, my problem is I don't have structure in my life. I'm not a very, I'm not, I'm not an organized person. I do things randomly and I want to get more structured. Uh, I mean, I love to do things randomly. It's fun, but at the same time, it doesn't get me anywhere to where I need to be. You know, I see guys like, you know, I, I watch a lot of, uh, uh, Juji, like Max, uh, Christian Guzman, um, and and I feel like these are guys like even Juji is not like the main business guy, like uh, who he is, but w not when it comes to like seeing Max or Christian and how they do things. When I see them, they're very structured people and organized and how they want to plan things out and get things done. And I want to be on that line of um, you know work. So that being said, this video. Is sponsored by everybody. So if you, you know, want a holiday gift for any of your peoples, you can order them from all of my sponsors. We're just gonna like throw everybody like right here or something. You know what I'm saying? You can go to the websites, link in the bio. We got S Force watches, we got Just Sand Gear, we got G Fuel, we got uh Alpha Clothing, <laughs> Beats Kicks. Hey, well, let's get to this workout, man. Let's go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five sets of 10 reps, uh, three exercises for back, three exercises for shoulders, and uh, we'll probably do some abs and stuff. Now, one thing that I like to start out with back is sometimes I'll use the assisted pull-ups, which allows me to get a better squeeze rather than doing regular pull-ups. Because sometimes, honestly, starting out with pull-ups can be uh, you know, quite dangerous in a way because Pull-ups are, are a difficult exercise. Now, if you get sloppy, let's let's go to the pull-ups real quick. A lot of people, when they do pull-ups, you know, they're thinking like, oh, it's a body-weighted movement, you know? But you gotta think about it. You're, you're having to control this body-weighted movement all through your arms, the arms to the connection of the shoulders, these joints right here. Now, doing pull-ups in this hang position, right, coming down in this is a over, is a stretch. Right? So imagine when you do a pull up and then you're like, and then you just like, like you just come down like hard. Like you just like do the pull up and then you just let your strength go and you don't control the descent on a pull up. You can end up tearing a rot you know, tearing, tearing your shoulders, uh, messing up your rotator cuff, uh, pulling something in the lats, um, you know, messing up your shoulders. And sometimes I think it's dangerous to warm up. If you're not an advanced lifter and you're a beginner, I feel like it's dangerous to warm up with pull-ups. I'd rather you do like lat pull-downs or something like that first, get warmed up first before you come into doing pull-ups because it can be, you know, very, um, you can have risk of injury. So if you would like to start a workout with pull-ups, definitely come over here to the uh, assisted pull-up machine 
like I'm about to do now. Five sets of 10. You know, I set the, I set the weight about, you know, 35% of my body weight. But doing pull-ups are very important, you know, for any exercise, any, any workout, period. Not exercise, but any workout, period. And what's great about it, if, if the weight is, you know, let's say if you want to get more of a good feel, you just increase the weight, make it easier for you to just focus on that top portion. So when it comes to the pull-ups, and why I like doing this uh, at times is once again, if you're in that bodybuilding industry, you're all about that good squeeze, holding that muscle, making sure it's being worked, you know, feeling the muscle being worked. When you're training athletic, those are things you don't think about, right? When it comes to athletic training, this is, this is, the, this is what I want everybody to get in their minds right now. Athletic training is not about feel the contraction, hold that muscle, it is not about that. It is about moving weight as fast as possible, as possible, as explosive as possible, and for like reps, you know? Lift heavy and reps. There's just like no in between. There's no, nobody's trying to build a body, like, you know, like a bodybuilder. We don't care about shit like that. And a lot of people keep coming in the comments saying, you know, slow it down, feel the muscle, stop, get help. All right, you're you're too you're too um, narrow-minded into thinking that all these like pro bodybuilders and there are great pro bodybuilders out there, but not everybody's trying to get dumb big, dumb muscle bellies, huge as fuck. I'm not trying to get huge as fuck. I'm not trying to be overly muscular. Why? It's because my body and my movement is so like cut off when you're just overly muscular. You know, even Juji who trains, he, he, you know, he lives heavy, he does the bodybuilding stuff, but he still stays with his mobility and stuff, and he's not overly muscular. Like, you look at him, he's muscular, but he's not, like, crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't want that. I just want to, you know, look good enough, have a dope physique, but at the same time, a lot of my workouts do not consist of focus on the contraction, this, blah, 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 take you really slow, five seconds down, five seconds up. No, bro. Stop. Stop telling everybody that that's like, like you know, that, that, that's a good way to do things for building muscle, but it's not the only way. So stop thinking your way is the only way. I've been doing this for a long time, and I know multiple ways of training, you know, injury free. Whenever you guys ever see me injured, right? And all the crazy shit I do. So, that being said, let's, let's get to it. Also, uh, always talk about hitting the planes, the vertical, horizontal. You hit the vertical already. Now we're going to the horizontal. Same thing, five sets of 10. This is all about volume today. And we'll hit some strength in a minute with some deadlift stuff. Uh, probably some RDLs. going on today get back into the deadlift mood so I found out that these plates are 45s of course these are 45s and these are actually 48 225 is enough. I'm tripping. This is the third exercise. This is supposed to be a 10-8, 10 8, 10 8 6, uh, 4 workout for the deadlifts. This is my uh, strength for my back movement. My, my strength back movement. Back situated again. Oof. <laughs> 
I have no desire to deadlift in this fucking gym. I'm in a designated strength area. Right there where the American flag is. There used to be a deadlift platform in here, but they moved it outside. And I'm not about to take all these fucking weights outside just to deadlift, because all they got is bumper plates outside. And you know you only can fit like four bumper plates. I don't know. Jack, can you get your shit together? And figure some shit out for this gym, bro. A designated deadlift area and a legit squat area. Yeah, I'm complaining. Cause I pay $200 a month for this damn place. <laughs> you fucking right I am. You know something wrong if I'm using clamps. <laughs> Up, up, and away. Well, oh, of course. Saw ya. It is, it is precisely true. If you're not constantly hitting something, you can lose that, man. This weight feels so heavy to me, though. All weight period right now just feels so heavy to me. This whole entire year, it's just been so heavy. And it's crazy. I just haven't, I haven't been doing any of my compound lifts this year, bro. Like last year I took my compound lifts like a lot, like 2018, I was really on my compound lifts. Like, Almost 800 dead, 530, you know, on bench. This year, I guess I did so much in 2018, I just said like, fuck it this year. But hopefully I can get back. It's just like my recovery, man. Like I, I literally felt like I had to recover this long in order to get back into it. Like a year, I take a year off pretty much of like crazy heavy lifting, which is probably why the channel's been a little bit I hate to talk about it, but been suffering a little bit just because I'm not consistent with my heavy lifting anymore. Just because I just don't feel like it, bro. But I'm kind of getting back in the groove to really start lifting some shit. I've just been bouncing back and forth. I, I, like this year, I want to focus a lot more on like mobility, athletic movement stuff, uh, a little bit more of the basics of training. Like when this becomes your job, like I love lifting, but ever since it's become like my job to constantly promote content, you know, certain desire just kind of fades in a way. Because now it's not like I don't want to, like, I'm not doing it anymore. Like I want to do it, but at the same time, it's not like I, I, I just want to do it. It's like I have to do this now, like, you know, because I have to create these videos. I have to create these certain videos. I, I made everything off of like the weightlifting and shit. So sometimes like I need that year break. Yeah, my hands are peeling, it's starting to bleed. I'm gonna grab the, uh, the straps. That's a straight leg. Now let me do a full deadlift. I feel so normal. It's crazy. Yeah, I feel like a mortal today. This whole year, I felt like a mortal. That's why I want to get on, like on my food shit, cause I'm like, fuck. Well, if I really pay attention to how much protein and carbs I'm taking, how much progress can I get? Cause I say this year, like my muscle definition and stuff is not as like on point. You know what I'm saying? I used to I, I ate a lot more food in 2018, especially a lot of protein. And like, like this year I found out a lot of shit. Like I'm allergic to a lot of shit. And mainly like one of the things I'm very intolerant to is beef. So my food habit has been like very, like I don't know what to eat anymore. So I just don't eat. Like I, 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 
I go out, I'm picky about what I'm eating when I go out, picky about what I eat at the house. So it's just been tough. So I've been trying to eat like turkey meat, you know, whenever I can, or chicken. Trying to stay away from beef as much as possible. Like I feel better health-wise, but now nah, it's just turned into a deadlift video. Cause I'm aggravated with my performance today. If I can't get a 675 right now on this, it's, I mean this is not my regular bar, but all right, I hold myself accountable. I need to do every compound leaf twice a week. We're gonna start after Christmas though. We're gonna start. <laughs> All right. I can still hit 675 at least. I, uh, I need to dumb myself down a little bit, get back to working on my deadlift technique because I'm still straight legging my deadlift. And I, that was a problem I always had is straight legging the deadlift and not using enough glutes and hamstrings. And uh, I guess I'm gonna blame that on just tight hips and hamstrings. I thought my hamstring mobility was a lot better. But uh, apparently, as you can see, you can see in the deadlift that I'm still using, you know, I'm known for using all back in deadlift. And uh, now is the time to really, really get a little bit more compact and uh, in my deadlift form. And really like, uh, get back my hamstring mobility so I can get down a little bit more. That way I'm not using all back. And that's why the weight feels so heavy right now because it's like, damn, I got such a long way to go from here to, uh, you know, here. But I'll get it. It's all good. I feel that deadlift in my balls. My balls throbbing right now. My whole pelvic floor is throbbing. Hey, man, I don't know if I want to be an Apex stream or a Call of Duty, bro. Hilarious. I was just about to start Apex like legit. I'm like YouTube. YouTube. Cause I was dropping bombs last night on Call of Duty. It's trending. It's trending. It's trending though. The Modern Warfare is trending. Fun, I was right? dropping bombs. Gear is 25% off for the Xmas code. So you can get 25% off the uh, anime fitness clothing, which is some good quality gear. Look, you can see that stretch. It's very breathable, flexible stuff i know you guys like that so 25 20 percent off 20 percent off code aftermath oh i'm gonna get five to ten lateral raises in finish the workout 30 second rest what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do a side front back side and the side I, li I like to do my laterals like this rather than straight from the side anyways sometimes i go like this quick rest times quick rest times just don't hurt your penis doing this I streamed for like seven hours. Uh, I woke up out of nowhere because I, I had a dream and I was, I took a trip to Spain. For some reason, I was trying to get some shit and next thing you know, I was getting bitten by snakes. And I was like, what? What did I read? Uh, yeah, it it snakes? Like, so no, 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 no. So snakes was like, if, if you're getting bitten by a snake, what do we say? It said you're either uh, really interested in somebody or, or there's somebody or like something you fear. And I'm scared to get bit by a snake. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, like, I don't know. It's not like, it's not like an animal, like, where you feel like when something likes you, even a lion, even a lion can show affection to a human. You know what I'm saying? But a snake don't show shit. It ain't gonna sit there and rub his face on yours and, like, like try to cuddle with you and shit and, like, be all cute. No, no, you, you, no bro. Like that, no. It'll, it'll probably chill with you and understand that you're not a threat. You know what I'm saying? And that until you're it, like a, until, but. Until it wraps around your neck. And yeah, exactly. And you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> yeah, you, you know that, that, shit, like, oh. that shit could be like, all right, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna act like I'm chill with this nigga. You know, wrap around and then pop his fucking head off. And he or. Found, he found you four days later. 
and, and, and it's weird. It's weird how their like mouth expands, and I just always imagine like them like on my neck or some shit, and like like biting my face or like, you know, like their teeth just come out of nowhere and just fucking, bro. Like no, I don't. I don't fuck with like Tarzan. You're crazy. I don't fuck with snakes. Point blank. I don't fuck with snakes. Like I'll fuck with snakes, but I don't fuck with snakes. I'd, I'd rather fuck with a lion than a snake. Nigga, I'll fuck with an eel. I'll fuck with eels before I fuck with snakes. <laughs> right? All right, y'all. That's the workout. Hope you guys enjoy. Like and subscribe to the channel. Catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash FBAfterMath for online training and one-on-one -on -one personal training in North Ooh, Hollywood shit. area of LA. Email me at T-E-R-R-O-N 2311 at gmail.com. And y'all want to know some fucked up shit? Y'all want to know some messed up stuff? When, when you date a girl, you and your homies used to talk about how all y'all would want to smash. That's a weird ass situation. Because now you know everybody trying to fuck too. Think about that. Of course my life matters to me, but not just mine. Everyone's. Don't fear failure. It's all as true today as when you were 12. Handle that business. Keep your dreams intact. California!